Hello there and welcome to TechIt. Today I will be making a very simple network using a terminal and a server. This is a terminal that I use to send requests to the server right here. It will be turning this lamp on. Very simple, right? Should be. Oh, this by the way is a personal safe that I use to store my basic boot disk so I uh, won't lose it. So, um, this again is an uh, IO expander, or input output expander that we can use to receive and send redstone signals. Now, let me take a look. Um, this one has got two. One is the, well, you could say it's the network card, the modem, and this one is the thing that we actually use to do something. In this case, turn on the lamp. Uh, this one is just here. Well, for no reason. Good. Um, now, first off, you must be thinking about what we're doing here. Because um, the IO expander can receive and send messages. Basically, it can send a 15 bit signal. Uh, so, that is any number from. Well, one, two, somewhere around thirty-one thousand. I don't know. I don't know exactly how big it would be, but a large number. Good. Now, that shouldn't be too hard. Let's take a look in here. We've booted this. Uh, in Craft M is basic. Now we will be sending a signal using this device. Um, with an IO expander, we can do three things: we can set, we can get, we can poke. Uh, peek, not poke. Only peek. Well, poke is actually the getting is kind of poking, you could say. If you've ever had a Commodore 64, you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> um, so we'll be using the get to receive a signal and the set to send a signal. We could use the peak to take a look at what signal we're sending, which can be useful if you've got multiple computers hooked up to one IO expander and you want to know if it's in use. Um, well, now we can say IO, IO, IO set and a number. Uh, first the ID of the IO expander, which is 3. Let's see this by shift right clicking. Get 3, we can change it. Default is 3. Um, yeah, if you've got multiple, like here, you're gonna have to change the ID of one of these in order to distinguish them. So now, that's 3. So IO set 3. One. And now we are sending a redstone signal of one, which corresponds to white cable. So if we would do that over here, let's give this one another ID by just turning one of these. ID seven. Good. IO set seven comma one. Ready. Lamp should be on. But it is not messing something up here. Let me take a look. Let's make a program IO set seven comma one twenty delay for five seconds, which is when a hundred ticks. Now, of course, I don't know what's happening here. Um, well, shit. Oh, wait, I've got to run this first. Run from them. Does that work? No. Of bloody course not. Now, I didn't test this. Let's get a green lamp. Right, there it is. So what if 
if I would. Um, let's take a look what he what happens. <laughs> I was hoping this be it, uh, become a slick video. But no. Um, this up in he here. Oh, oh, that works. So, wait a second. Three. But I set it on seven. That's just bollocks. What if I... Let me take a look. Ten. Wait. Let's clear everything first. New. Ten. Three, comma, one. Uh... And run it. No, still nothing. This does work then. So apparently you can only use one device, one I/O example, which is a bloody shame. I thought you would be able to use more of them on one PC. That's IO set three and zero and IO set seven on one. Let's get some it doesn't really matter what kind of bundle cable I use for this. For this. Oh. Get an IO expander in there. I O. Oh, there's a space in between. Right. Right. Plonk that down. Maybe it's in the wrong place. That might be it. You won't be using this. How about this? Good. I have set. Not there's no seven. Seven. I have set seven comma one. Ah, that works. Okay, so I think the problem there was that it has to be directly next to the CPU. You can solve that by using ribbon cables. I could just run a ribbon cable all the way this way and attach a lot of IO expanders. I think um, for now, this is good. So we can also say IO set 3, 1. Yeah, that turns it for me. You see? Little dot right there. Good. So, um, let's turn them both up. IO set 7, 0, and IO set 3, 0. Good. Now, <sighs> now we're going to turn this into a server. Dedicate the server to turn a light. Boring. Now, let me see. Right. Yes. So, okay. I'm gonna write a little program. So, uh, clear S uh, pff, screen. No. Clear screen. Oh well, uh, there should be a clear screen thingy, right? Well, maybe not. So let's start it. Um, oh wait, C L R C S C R. Yes, that's what I wanted to do. So let's write a program. Then start at line ten. As we do in basic, could start at line five. But hey, <laughs> why not ten? Um, okay, first of all, we're gonna add an um, variable. Right. Let me just 
take a quick look how that is done. Because of course we need to create an, uh, a variable that is the Uh, that is the ID that it's getting the input from. Uh, maybe we don't. You know what? We don't. We don't have to. Good. If um, I will get from three. Yes. So if I will get three equals. The ID I'm gonna give it, which will be 901. My favorite number, also my trademark number, is 3. Go to 30. As simple as that. Now, go to using go to is very bad practice. Um, you shouldn't in big programs, but I can't be asked to design anything better for this course. Now 20 go to 10. <laughs> this is horrible by the way. But what we're doing is creating um, sort of a live lock, I guess. Not a deadlock. A deadlock is a situation in which nothing happens, but something is happening. Problem is that it's not doing anything. <laughs> it's not uh, moving towards a goal of some sort of, of processing anything. Um, so this is a live lock, a situation in which something happens, but it is no progress. Uh, an artificial live lock because we're creating an escape at the same time, which is go to 30, and the 30 will be here. 30 IO set 7 1. And 40 will be go to 10. Now this is the worst programming I've ever done, probably. But for a program this simple, there is no there is no flow, no nothing, structure. There's nothing. Run from line 10. Syntax error in 10. That's just bloody magnificent. Let's try again. So we are going to create a vari uh, variable. If I can just find how that is done. So id equals I will get three. Let me just quickly check if that is alright. Um, now course I uh, yeah I like looking things up because you're never too sure if you were right in what you were doing <laughs> I will get oh that's what I was doing wrong <sighs> okay let's try again same thing as before then if <laughs> I'm sorry this is taking so long I will get Okay. Parentheses. Of course. Equals nine one go to thirty. Twenty go to ten. Then thirty I O set a three one. Uh seven one. So seven one. Seven. Go to and ten. Now let's hope run ten. That works. Good. Now it's basically doing this over and over and over and over and over again. Now this has become a dedicated server listening on the port nine hundred and one. Sort of. Now, if everything goes according to plan. Good. If everything goes according to plan, I should be able to turn the line down from here.
by saying IO set three because that's the idea of my IO expander. I'm going to one, which is a I don't know what it is in binary, but we can make it. There we go. Right, it's good. Ah, Whew. I'm relieved. Can you tell? <laughs> ah, good. So that works. So, um, now, is yeah, most important thing about this now is what's the use of something like this, right? You know, why would you want to do this? It's cool to do. I mean, I feel like I've accomplished something. Bloody Minecraft. Um, <laughs> oh well. Um, no. Um, basically, you can use one single computer at your base of operations and send a signal this way. You could, of course, get this line into a program that executes it in a more elegant fashion and then it sends a signal to this one this one says oh that's me and um, do this you could of course um, IO set 71 you could make that longer you know you could let it turn something else on and turn it off again and then go back to 10 you can do it, make it do a lot of things once it gets a signal and of course you could make a longer signal let's say you send always send two signals you can send a, a, a 15 bit number whenever you want to so you can say 9 or 1 as id then that one knows to listen all the other ones knows to all the other ones know to uh, d d ignore the next signal you can say 901 do this so two signals 901 2 so that's DA 901 can you execute program 2 for me now uh, it could be useful if you wanted to make a simple network of computers um, next time I will be looking into a third server dedicated to taking uh, a signal and translating it to know to send it to the right PC. Well, that's gonna be a little bit harder. I don't even know if it's possible. Honestly, <laughs> I'm not sure. So, thanks for watching. I hope you found this useful. And um, goodbye. <laughs>